Hi again, uh, here we are uh, to talk about React and Redux. And in the last video, we set up a starter app with Create React App, and we imported our dependencies, which were uh, Redux and uh, React Redux. Pardon me. Um, and in this video, what I'd like to do is set up some of our you know basic systems. So we need um, actions. So in in Redux, we're going to manage application state by sending actions to our dispatcher, okay? And we'll talk about the dispatcher later, right? But we need to be able to um, send an action and create an object that describes what that action should do, right? So an action says how we can change the application state. So you can't just change application state by setting the value on a variable. Instead, what you do is you send an action to the dispatcher and the action, you know, has all the information that the, the dispatcher needs to, to change the action, to change the state, right, or the value, right? Um, the way this works is we send a type to the dispatcher that says what type of action it is. And then if there's any other details that, that, that we would need to change the value, we send those along too, okay? So let's set that up. So I'm gonna go back to Adam here, and I'm gonna go to my actions folder. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new file in here, and I'll just name it index.js, and this will hold my actions, right? So actions are just strings, but we're gonna define them as um, constants. So I'm gonna say export const, um, increment and we're going to make the this project is going to be like a super simple one we'll expand on it but it's just going to be a counter right and we'll we'll get the count and then later we'll make a list of counters and then you know add do do some things with the counters right so um so i just need two simple actions so one of them is going to be called increment right because you can increase the count and the other one is called decrement because this will decrease the count. Okay, so there's my actions, right? So now what I need is I need an action creator, right? Because in, in Redux, every action is an object with a type, right? So it could be type, you know, increment, right? Okay, and then if I had some payload, like, like the amount, like how much I wanted to increase the count by, I might have a payload, and then my payload would have you know, the uh, the value or something on it. So it could be a value of one or it could be a value of, you know, five, right? Um, and, and you can, this is actually pretty free form, so you don't have to use payload, but this is a kind of a, a, a convention that I see a lot. So I'm gonna follow the convention, right? So what we wanna do is we wanna create a function that returns an object that looks something like this for each of the possible actions. So we can add more actions to our program too, and we would make an action creator for each of the new actions, right? So I'm gonna do the same thing here. I'm gonna say export constant, and uh, I'll make a, um, I'll just name this the same increment as I did with the action, you know, but it'll be lowercase, right? So this will be the increment action, right? Or we could call it maybe increment count, right? I don't know. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do it, increment count. And um, I'll maybe make this say arrow function that's going to return, return if I can spell it correctly, right? It's gonna return an object with a type of increment. And I'll leave the payload off for now, but we can add that in later, okay? We'll just keep this super simple, right? So I'm gonna export a, a decrement function so it'll be decrement count. And this will also return an object with a type of decrement, okay? Now we could use strings everywhere, like I could have just used this string, but we're gonna use this in a few places in a few different files. So it's nice if we define it as a constant and we can just import this constant into every file. And if for some reason we need to change the value of the string here, we can do that in one place. And then also it, it saves us from making, you know, spelling errors, right, that hold up our work. So, so anyway, so this is pretty good. So we've got our actions right here, okay? And that's our first step, right? So creating actions and action creator. So here's, actually we'll put a comment in here. These are actions or action types, you know, you could call them types there, right? And then down here, these are our action creators. 
Okay, so these create the action objects, and we're going to pass these action objects to our dispatcher, and the dispatcher is going to handle the action to make changes in state for us. Okay, so anyway, thanks for watching, and then in the next video, we'll talk about um, setting up reducers. Okay.